Manchester United host Swansea on Sunday. We've had Chelsea, we've had Anderlecht, we've had Burnley, we've had Man City. Games coming thick and fast. Celta Vigo on Thursday. Will Jose Mourinho rotate his team for Swansea on Sunday? Relegation candidates, but they're going to come for a dogfight. Here is who I think is going to start for Man United. As you can see, there are a couple of changes in there. David De Gea, he's going to stay in goal because I think Sergio Romero is going to play against Celta Vigo. He's been playing the Europa League all season and he was very good against Man City De Gea. Didn't have to do much, but everything he did, he made look easy. And that's what top draw goalkeepers do. Now, right back, as you can see, I've given Valencia a rest because, as I said, I think that Mourinho is going to have one eye on this Celta Vigo game as a more important game out of the two. And he's going to trust that whatever team he puts out here can beat Swansea at home. And let's be honest, they should be beating them because their form is trash. One win in the last six as we cover in our match preview. Make sure you check that out. But I've gone for Darmian at right back. He's been playing left back, right back, left back, right back. I'll just put him there because Fosu Mentz has apparently dislocated his shoulder, which is a real fucking blow for him. But Darmian, I put him at right back because I've gone Luke Shaw at left back. Uh, I think Shaw will come in for this game. Swansea at home looks like a game for me where Shaw can start and hopefully play very well. Centre-back partnership has got to be by in Blind because there are no other players to play there. He's not going to start Twanzebe. Um, who else is there? Let me know who you potentially could replace one of those with, but I get a feeling that they're going to play every minute of every game that they can. Now, I've gone for a midfield two of Carrick and Herrera. I think if Paul Pogba's fit enough to play this game, I still don't see him starting, not with Celta Vigo on Thursday. That is where Mourinho is going to want Pogba to be fit for. And let's be honest, Swansea, we should be able to beat Swansea at home anyway without Pogba in the team. We desperately missed him against City, though. So can we cope without him in this game? Let me know whether you think we can in the comments. And with Carrick and Herrera playing in a 4-2-3-1 formation, I've gone for Mkhitaryan in the number 10 role, with Ashley Young out on the left, Jesse Lingard on the right, and Anthony Martial up front, giving a rest to Marcus Rashford, who once again ran his socks off against Man City. But... As I said, I think Mourinho is going to have at least one eye on this Celta Vigo game. So he's going to rest Pogba and he's going to rest Rashford. Well, that's if Pogba's fit. But I think that front four is good enough to win this game. So Ashley Young on the left. I think Ashley Young always does a job when he plays. Mkhitaryan, number 10, is his best position. On the right, Jesse Lingard didn't start against City, so he should be fit. And Anthony Martial up front through the middle, where he was excellent against Burnley. And as I said, it gives an opportunity for Mourinho to rest Marcus Rashford. That is my predicted start at 11 for the game, but what is yours? Leave it in the comments as you always do. Drop a like on the video, please, guys and girls. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.